What's up everybody, physical therapist Dr. Ryan Welton. So I had a great conversation last night with a physical therapist. So this girl used to work for me and then she went to physical therapy school and now she's been out for a little while and she wants to open her own business. So she called me and asked me about that. Um, now in school, it's interesting to watch because most people before they go into school, they don't really know the right way to do it. So they're very open-minded, right? Then you go into school and they teach you. These are the lines. This is where you color. And she told me that she was told anybody that talks about acupuncture energy is a crazy person. That's not evidence based. You know, anybody who says that doesn't know what they're talking about. It actually is hard science that, you know, they've measured acupuncture points. The Russian Russian quantum physicists have have um, have imaged an acupuncture meridian, you know, um, Anyways, whatever, they, they taught her exactly how to think, this is how you think. So she came out very you know, rigid in her thinking, very left brain, that's how they taught. This, this physical therapist, this girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but this girl is highly intuitive. I've never told her that, but she's highly intuitive and that's her greatest gift. Um, and she's very self-aware. And, but when you go and you go into like, a, like school, like it's like they lock you into that left brain and everything is linear. I can't do anything unless I have 37 and a half years of double quadruple blind studies, else I can't do it, you know? Anyways, she's starting to open her own business and she says to me, she says to me, yeah, so, you know, like, uh, you know, her mind's starting to, to open, which is the greatest thing I've ever seen happen to a human being is an open mind, you know, because that's when you start revolutionizing your results. When you just do like, color inside the lines, you know, you're only going to get limited results doing that, you know, but when you start coloring outside the lines, you know, that's when you start, you know, really getting unconventional results, which is what you have to do in business. And she knows it. And she knows that if she doesn't get these people better, she's screwed. She's out of business. I told her I've been in business 11 years. In order to succeed in business, you need to, three things. You need to get people, you got to do things that they, that they can't get anywhere else. You know, you got to get unconventional results. Okay. You have to get people out of pain immediately. Okay. And show them progress each time they come in. All right. Um, and then also, um, also get them better. Obviously you got to get them better. If you don't, you're going to have some really pissed off people in business. You have to do what the consumer wants and they want, they want those three things. That's what they want. Okay. And when you work for your, when you work in a organization or whatever, you can do whatever you want. Nobody's going to say anything. People are using their insurance, but when you don't take insurance, that's when you have to do it, what, whatever the person wants. You got to find out what they want. And that's what they want. I've been doing this 11 years. Um, so it is extraordinary to see her mind open, you know, and, and a lot of people's minds open. I had a physical therapist that worked for me that I told him, look, man, you're going to go to physical therapy school. They're going to tell you, this is how you, this is how you need to, you know, think or whatever. I said, if you do that, if you come out and start telling me that you can't stimulate an acupuncture circuit that works 80% of the time that gets sciatica or cervical radiculopathy, away immediately my sciatica course you know if you can't do that because you don't have 37 and a half years of studies i said i'm not a violent person but i'll kill you i'll find out where you live and i'll come and i'll kill you i don't believe in violence i think it's the height of ignorance but i'm willing to be ignorant <clears throat> the goal is to get these people better there's a big difference between talking about it in school and then in the trenches there's a suffering human being in, in front of you and your job is to figure it out they're counting on you to figure it out and if you're going to color inside the lines and just do a very linear way of, of looking at things, more power to you. It's not going to go well in, in private practice. But um, anyways, <clears throat> it's the greatest thing in the world to see minds open. There's nothing like being an entrepreneur to have an open mind. You have to, you have to do what, what, what that consumer wants. Otherwise, you're screwed. You're out of business. Anyways, that's that. Peace.